Hello everyone, so today I am going to be talking about SIA, which stands for the Sitecore Install Assistant, which we'll be using to install Sitecore 9.2 on my local environment. This is going to be a really quick uh, video, we're just going to go through this really quick. Uh, so for the first thing, uh, if you're just doing this for the first time, you're going to make want to make sure that you have all the prerequisites on your machine. Uh, some of those prerequisites are gonna be SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 2 or greater. So uh, SQL Server 2017 would also work, uh, but anything below that would obviously not work. You'd also want to have Solar 7.5 is the prerequisite, but you can actually go a little higher. I think I have 7.7.2 .7 running on my machine or 770, I don't exactly remember exactly the version I used. That can also work as well. You should also have Sitecore Install Framework 2.1.0 or just the latest version of it uh, for the 9.2 installation, uh, as well as uh, .NET Core 2.1.7, the Windows hosting module. Uh, this is needed for Identity Server, which runs on .NET Core. Um, if you're doing anything with XC that requires .NET Core, you'd also probably want to have that .NET Core uh, module installed. And then you also want PowerShell 5.1 just for a Sitecore install framework. So that's pretty much it. There's, I think there's a few other prerequisites, but we'll show kind of a, a good way to install those uh, here in a second. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to uh, the 9.2 download. Uh, at this point of this video, the current version is the initial release of 9.2, but obviously in the future it might be 9.2 update 1 or 2. Just be aware of any changes with those updates that might affect this video, such as the SIA might require a newer version of Sitecore install framework if they add some sort of functionality that requires it. So uh, you're going to want to install the latest graphical setup for XP Single. Uh, this is this link here. Just click that, download it. What you're going to want to do is extract the contents of that zip into a folder. Uh, Sitecore recommends in their documentation to extract it to resource files, all one word, uh, no spaces, no hyphens, uh, in your C drive. But you can really do this anywhere. So what I've done is I've actually, I just have it sitting in my downloads folder as a place where all the, the files sit. Um, so there's two things before we kind of get into the graphical interface. The first thing is to pay attention to this setup exe config. So we'll just open this real quick in VS Code. And there's some key things in here that I think can really help you out when using this tool. So there is a few things in here that you should probably pay attention to. So if you like the way that the default instance uh, sets up the site names uh, with I think I believe it's dot like dot local dot dev or something like that if you don't if you like that then you don't have to worry about that but if you like me like to use just dot identity dot se dot x connect that's just a preference I have um, then you'll want to come in here and change these values because they're set to something by default and there's no way within the graphical interface to change those values. And then there's a few other things that you might want to change in here, especially if you use this tool a lot. That's one benefit of using the PowerShell commands because you can just create one script that you run over and over and just change the uh, host names uh, values to be different environments. But in here, uh, you'll see that I've changed a few things. So it's pointing to uh, specific folders, these just help it so so that it just takes less time on future installs. So we'll just close out of that because I'm not too picky or worried about that. Uh, so the next thing that we were going to do is just go through the graphical interface. Uh, right click on setup exe and you'll want to run this as an administrator. Uh, say yes. And now we have the gra graphical inter inter Graphical user interface. There's a few things to note. Uh, it just says that you need a valid Sitecore license to run this, uh, as well as you just need to make sure that you have those prerequisites that I was referring to in the beginning of this video. Uh, click start. And this is your opportunity to go through the uh, installation of prerequisites. Uh, this is what I was mentioning before. You might want to do this the first time if you haven't ever uh, tried to install any sort of Sitecore instance on your local machine, especially a newer version. 
So go for that. I'm gonna skip that because uh, I already have done a few SIA uh, installations on my local machine. So I'm just gonna go skip. And now we're, we're asked with some questions to determine what we're going to create here. Uh, I'm going to be going through a whole new series uh, of using a 9.2 instance to go through a, quite a few videos, hopefully in the future as I, I have some availability. So I'm hoping to just create one called tutorial 9.2. And then the admin password, I always like it as admin B. So. Uh, since it's my local environment, it doesn't matter. I'll use that license file. Click next. Um, SQL 2016. I believe that's correct. It must be a service pack two instance of 2016 because I've run, like I said, I've run these before. So uh, SA and then that's my password. Click next. Um, and then just since I've already mapped these in my exe config, I don't have to put them in each time. That saves me a whole lot of extra work. Uh, click next. Now it's just confirming all the steps that you just uh, you basically just supplied. Click next. It's giving check boxes across the board saying that WTP file WDP files are there. The SIF configuration is there, and the Cycler license file is correct. Now click to install, and now it's going to start the installation process, which uh, depending on the speed of your environment, it can take anywhere from like a couple minutes to 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, on my machine, it typically takes about four minutes or four and a half minutes, uh, just because I have a pretty fast machine. So let's just wait here and uh, we'll come back to it. All right, uh, it has completed. So as you can see, it says Sitecore has been installed with success. So we are good to go. Um, one last step is to just take a look at that instance that was created. So we'll close. If you want to read about documentation, et cetera, just go to the documentation site. It's kind of what that hints at. So we'll go to tutorial92.sc. And there we are. We have our new Sitecore 9.2 uh, initial release uh, instance running with Sitecore install with Sitecore install assistant. That's it for today's session. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great content from my channel um, and have a great day.